Hey guys, what's going on? It's Twintuitive717. I am back with another reading, guys. I am here hanging with Mega Good Vibes or Saucy Little Beaver. I hope wherever you are, you are relaxing somewhere just like she is. So we are on to do some Divine Masculine messages. So maybe the title of the reading has brought you here. Nonetheless, guys, I do hope that these messages validate your intuition, okay? So these are messages that you've already been picking up on. You've already been feeling these things in your own connection, all right? So I have my two decks here with Divine Masculine messages, and what I'll do is I'll cut each deck in half, and then we will get an overall message from the Masculine Collective right now. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, there we go. So I'll set them both down here, and I'll cut it in half. Okay, so I'll keep this one. And I'll keep that message. So what I'll do is I'll find out the overall energy of the Divine Masculines. What do they wish to communicate at this time? Okay, so I'm silently working on myself and I hope that you can feel that. That's a really strong message that's coming through here. And I talk to you in my head all day long. Okay, so this is a Divine Masculine who knows that hermiting right now is really important for them. But they want you to know that you know, just because they're not on the scene or they're not present right now, um, it doesn't mean they're not thinking about you because it says here, I talk to you in my head all day long. I feel like you're probably the only person they talk to in their head all day long because they relate to you as the only one who knows what's going on with them. Or you might be the only one Divine Feminine that can understand some of the experiences that they're going through. Okay, but they miss you. Um, they are working on themselves though. I've been getting this a lot. Like many of your divine masculines are focused on um, Like if your masculines are a lot older and it doesn't always have to be the case There's just a sense of focus on like knight of pentacles energy even king of pentacles energy But becoming someone who is very dependable someone who is trustworthy Someone you can count on and that's what I feel like they're working on someone you can count on divine feminine because i know that we've had children coming up in the past few readings this week and just the energy of having to be mature enough to to make you feel secure i see your masculine feeling very appreciative of you divine feminine it's like without your energy they would have never they would have never felt this this push to work on themselves and I feel like the areas that they're working on is being like more of a provider and a protector okay and they want you to know that again just because they are not on the scene doesn't mean that they aren't thinking about you how are they feeling in their heart space let's reveal something about that now it's just a small deck of cards I have the messages will be read intuitively rather than focusing on card meanings okay so how do they feel for you divine feminine Okay, so we have the full card. I feel like they're coming towards you. If you guys look in the background, there's a couple, you know, <laughs> kind of cuddled up there in the background. Um, but I feel like I'm silently working on myself being represented by the full energy here as a new beginning for this divine masculine. They may not be where they want to be just yet, you know, and that's oftentimes like what we will see in this card here is like someone taking whatever they can take off of their back. But I feel like the couple in the background there it's it's where they're headed it's what is driving this move to strive towards something better or more comforting uh, in this case with you divine feminine i feel like this masculine is paying more attention to what's in their head because it says i talk to you in my head all day long i feel like logically log logically they are making sense of things by you know saying to themselves if if you're all I can think about, then you must be the direction I should be going towards. Okay, so a lot of your masculines, they, they're holding you in their, in their mind right now. They're thinking about you heavily. There's some type of new opportunity that they feel with you and they're willing to take this risk. They're willing to step into the unknown. And the reason they're willing to do that is because it's obvious. The signs are obvious. I feel like they spend more time with you than they do with other people, even though you guys aren't together, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, I'll say it again. This divine masculine spends more time with you, whether it's spiritually or energetically, than they do with other people. All right, how else do they feel? Yeah, they're right behind you, divine feminine. Not quite ready to make an offer, 
um, you know, you could be a divine feminine that is very independent. You take very good care of yourself. You could be distracted because you are looking away. Um, I feel like window of opportunities because they're looking out the window. You could have a lot of opportunities and a lot of suitors <laughs> could be trying to capture your attention as well, divine feminine. But I feel like this divine masculine wants you to stay focused. If you guys look at the star and the window, I feel like many of your divine masculines want you to stay focused on on them, focused on the energy of what it is you feel. This might be a divine feminine as well who, like you want to move forward, you want to explore the options, you want to feel free and sexy and single and just, you know, you can you move at your own pace, but you see how this bush is burning in the background? Your divine masculine scent. Remember I kept channeling that message message about you guys smelling them? You can feel it in the air. You know, the bush is burning in the background as a reminder that, you know, they're there. They're right there behind you. You know, I hear many of you as well, um, specifically with the energy in this card. <laughs> um, it's like you can't connect with suitors because the moment you do, your divine masculine makes it very apparent that they are right behind you. You know, many of you, I feel like you can't connect romantically with other people. You don't have the desire to or the zeal to. The universe may be pushing these opportunities on you, but, you know, by her looking at the star, I feel like this divine feminine knows in her heart of hearts that it's this divine masculine. So it, many of your masculines are moving towards you, maybe a little bit unprepared, but I feel like this card says that the divine feminine is waiting. You're waiting and your intuition or the high priestess energy within you already tells you that they're making their way towards you. It's just they're starting slow. They may be starting over and they may be a little bit self-conscious about starting over as well. They may not have as much to offer as previous suitors um, have approached you. And it doesn't always have to be money here I'm talking about when it, I mean they may not have anything to offer or much to offer. I'm talking about emotional stability, right? I'm talking about spiritual stability here. Somebody who gets you, somebody who can be patient with you, someone who is the real deal. They're not caught up with that superficial lifestyle. That's what. That's the kind of offer that your divine masculines want to make to you, right? Because look at her and the way she's dressed. When it comes to material wealth, you know, the material world, this is a divine feminine who provides for herself. She's gotten the memo you know and the reason she provides for herself is that she can have the ultimate freedom like in this fool energy here that's coming through um she can just pick up herself and and go and make a move whenever she needs to it's because she can take care of herself financially emotionally and spiritually so i feel like it doesn't matter if this divine masculine is is well in doubt in the in the material world they might have a lot of money but money doesn't buy everything this is a divine feminine who can actually put her foot down and say that money can't buy everything okay it can't buy class it can't buy personality it can't buy compassion it can't buy an empathetic nature it can't buy the humanity in someone respect collaboration community you know money can't buy those things within a person and that's the challenge that many of your divine masculines are up against because i feel like in normal 3d connections and regular connections um, they might very well use their financial wealth to you know like uh, put stars in the eyes of of just karmic energies but this is a divine feminine who you know you don't get stars in your eyes you are the star you know people look at you and they strive towards your 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 abundance and your abundance is not money divine feminine i feel like money is like secondary to you it's like you can get it you can manifest money if you want to but your soul is old <laughs> you know it's like your soul knows that money just money is not gonna solve everything you know everybody ages everybody gets old everybody has different priorities you know this is a divine feminine who has a lot of wisdom on her side and that is what makes you abundant it makes you attractive it makes you uh, sensually attractive is is the the idea that all of this beauty you have this wisdom within you to to back it up it's like this this level of beauty that is unmatched and i feel like that's what many of your divine masculines are thinking about at this time it's not as easy to approach you 
that's what I feel like this reading is about. It's not as easy to approach you as it is to approach other people and, and flash things in their eyes. This is a divine feminine who has a lot of depth. You already have everything that's shiny. So if someone is going to make an impression on you, they're, the abundance that you seek is within their spirit. All right? So <laughs> that's the gist of the reading, guys. I hope you have found it well and helpful. Are you snoring, saucy beeves? Okay, some of you might need some rest and deep sleep out there. All right, the saucy beef is legit snoring. I just want to give you kisses. I do love you. I'll kiss that furry chest. She's like, whatever, mom. <laughs> all right, guys, we love you. Happy Friday night, and we will catch you in tomorrow's reading. All right, guys, good night. Bye. Oh, 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 and also those of you who have booked personal readings, I will be finishing off the rest of the readings that are due um, definitely before Monday. Thank you guys for being patient with me and hanging in there with me. I will get those personal readings out to you. Um, and for those of you who are with me on Patreon, I will be getting back to your personal messages tonight um, just to touch bases with some of you who uh, need some guidance on the journey. All right. I see your messages. I know they're there. I will be responding. All right. All right, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.